Hi, my name is Michael Maurer, and I'll be talking about log timelines in Cabana 4. So this is the Cabana 4 interface. Very colorful, I know. Um, but first, I'm going to talk about timelines in general. So pretty much as long as I've been in the forensics field, timelines have been very important. Uh, but the problem is we've never had a good way of uh, visualizing them. Originally, people were just using text editors. Then they got these fancy Excel sheets. And but that's not the way we do this anymore. Um, Recently, with some changes to Plasso, which you have know, the super timeline, uh, you can actually export directly to Elasticsearch, which you can then view in Cabana, which this is Cabana 3, which comes with SIFT. So if you have the latest SIFT workstation, this you can actually pull all your uh, super timelines into here. But now that they've come out with Cabana 4 and it's actually finally stable, I'd like to show you what all you can do with Cabana 4. So. Here's the interface. As you can see, pretty similar to that of Cabana 3. Uh, at the top, we got a histogram. And I'm going to real quick move our files over to the right side because we don't need any of the files at the left of the zero epoch. And uh, so this is showing us all the files and the number of files per that particular date. Uh, the bottom left, we have this double pie chart. And this is going to show us. Uh, regular files versus directories. The next one is going to show us the different types of uh, actions that these timelines or these logs are showing. So there's access, change, modified, and created. And then we have the extensions. So like these are pretty much your standard extensions uh, you'd expect on a Windows system. .dll, .exe, etc. And then this right one's actually showing us uh, present files versus deleted files. And the outer loop is showing us if that file is allocated. So as you expect, if the file is present, then clearly it's going to be allocated. But uh, for the deleted files, we're seeing a lot of allocated ones. But we have a handful that have been reallocated, so we're probably not going to get those files back. All right. So for this demo, let me uh, jump right in and go right to looking at some JPEGs. So you can just go ahead and click any one of these pie charts, and you'll get that particular extension. Uh, let's only focus on the created dates for this example, because that's when normally a file has been downloaded or placed onto the system. And the last but not least, we'll just go with uh, any files that are currently present. And you'll notice that whenever we click one of these, it adds a filter, and we can pin these so you can see them in your different views. Uh, you have the setting, these are your views up here, so you have your setting options. Uh, that's just same as your general cabana settings, dashboard, which we're seeing now. Visualize lets you make all these nice graphs, and then Discover actually gets to view the logs themselves, which is what we're interested in. So, and you'll notice right away that you're going to actually see thumbnails, which you normally don't see in your other viewers. These thumbnails are being fed up uh, via a Python REST uh, web server that I'm running, and what it does is it uses the sleuthk icat command and just icats the file as it loads here. So they're only so it's lazy loading. So it's loading as as we view them. So as we scroll, we'll keep just loading new one more and more. And there's no nothing's pre-processed. This is loading on the fly. Um so images are nice, but now what if we wanted something like a PDF file? Uh we can go ahead and just remove the JPEG filter we have over here. And we can search for PDFs. And because it uses Elasticsearch, these searches are almost instantaneous. So we can go down here and pick one of the first PDFs that we see. And we can just see this. we have this link on the side. The thumbnail is not there because it's not an image, so it's not going to create one for us. Um, but this is that same web uh, Python web server that was feeding us the images is this right here. And if you click on it, it will actually take you to that particular file. So there you have it. So we've now gone over uh, thumbnails and actually exporting using Cabana 4.1. Uh, feel free to follow me on Twitter or follow my blog posts. I'll be posting all the scripts that I use, the Python scripts, the uh, parsers for this, uh, on my blog later this week. And let me know if you have any questions. Thank you for watching.